hello everyone Habib here in this video today I'm going to show you a script a new script that I've made to create a touch touchpad touchscreen touchpad to transform any objects so the script is here in my blog post the name of the script is this then of the an object transform touchpad you can copy the name and create the new create create a script here in your unity here is an empty scene here in my unity let's create the script with that name paste it here the name double click double click to edit it and then copy the script and paste it here so how to use this script is here I already uh, I also uh, put a note here first we need to add a UI image let's create an image here as a touchpad as our touchscreen touchpad so here is image and I will position it here at the bottom and then I can adjust the size of this touchpad like this and then attach the script to that image element like this the next step is to add uh, an object for example let's create an object I position it on 0 0 x y and z at the center of the world and let's add some another object for example a sphere and then another cube here just to make it less boring yeah another one okay that's fine the next step the for the touchpad itself which is which is here this one let me rename it first I name it my touchpad we have this script attached and we need to put our target object here so my target object is this cube I place it here then don't forget to add event system event trigger we need two things here for the event trigger first one is pointer down and the second one is pointer up for the pointer down click add and just drag and drop itself to this slot and find the end object touchpad activate for pointer down we choose touchpad activate and for the for this one we choose deactivate <coughs> okay that's all the things to do uh, to set up the touch the touchpad and we can click the play button here as you can see this is our touchpad here you have these checkboxes first we need to define what we are going to use for this uh, touchpad are we going to use its horizontal movement or horizontally or vertically let's say I use it horizontally I check the horizontal checkbox and because this is our target object we will see it we will see it moving if we slide this touchpad left and right because we are using horizontally so to move it left or right or 
up and down just here you need to check this to move not only checking the this one we need to check also which one which axis do we need to move it for example to move it left and right we need to check the X so we can move it like this here at the bottom you can see the speed variable you can make it faster by increasing it for example like one it will be very fast or you can decrease it to 0 0.05 or more slower you can use 0 0.01 or even more slower you can use 0 0.001 like this that is for uh, horizontal movement so what if I want to move it up and down you can just choose this Y checkbox and you can move it up and down like this because we are using horizontal movement for our touchpad what if we need to use it up and down for the touchpad so you the answer is to change it from horizontal to vertical if you are using vertical you can move it up and down like this what if you use both of them you can see you can use both of them to move it up and down you can move it uh, on Z axis by clicking this checkbox you can also check everything here check everything here but I don't think you will need that okay that's for the movement and this one for scaling the object to scale it to scale the object up and down you can check this checkbox to scale and then you need to find you need to check what which one is the axis you want to scale it if you if you click uniform scale it will scale scale up and down uniformly if you don't want to scale it uniformly you can choose any of the axis like this no. 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 or this okay that's one for scaling up and down the object and this one for rotation to rotate this object make sure it is checked and then you need to define what axis do you want to use X axis will be this way let me increase the speed to 5 so this is X axis and this is Y axis and this one for Z axis and please note this is local rotation of this object local rotation is rotating like this if you want to use global rotation which is related to the world uh, orientation you can use this global rotation so for example I want to rotate it on Y axis globally so I check this global rotation and rotate it this way it is rotating on Y axis in global rotation X axis Z axis okay that's all it is very easy to use I hope you can use it for your project and thank you for watching see you next time on my on my next videos bye bye